Hey guys, happy Monday. I am working on dinner, almost done with it, and I just wanted to introduce myself. My name is Sarah. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, go check out some other videos that I have on my channel. I'm so happy that you're here. Um, so tonight I'm making fajitas. I bought some little steaks and some peppers and onions, so keeping it pretty simple. Fajitas tonight, and I'll go ahead and show you how I make them. Alright guys, here are the finished fajitas. So I went ahead and put cheese and lettuce on there, some sour cream on mine, some salsa on both of them, and then just a little squeeze of lime. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Thanks for joining me. Hey guys, I'm about to start dinner. It is just after five and I've got some chicken breasts here. So these are the big bone-in chicken breasts. So I got two of them there and I've been letting them thaw out. They're pretty much done thawing now. So I'm just gonna cook those in the oven, season them up and cook them in the oven pretty simply. Um, green beans here, probably just saute those. And then two sweet potatoes, which I'll roast up at the same time. The chicken will take a long time because it's bone in, so I can just toss the sweet potatoes and the chicken in the oven at the same time. So I'll go ahead and get started and show you how it turns out. And here's tonight's dinner all plated up. There's the roasted chicken that I seasoned with poultry seasoning and paprika. The green beans that I sauteed in chicken broth. I'll leave that recipe down below. And our baked sweet potato. Hey guys, here's another night of dinner. I had made this shrimp red curry and it's just sauteed onions and bell peppers and then I toss in the red curry paste, coconut milk, and I added in some shrimp that are already cooked. Here is the coconut milk that I use and the Thai curry paste. So that is what we're having for dinner tonight, served with white rice and a lime wedge. Hey guys, I'm back tonight with more dinner ideas. Uh, so tonight I'm gonna be making chicken legs chicken drumsticks here. I think I'm going to spice them up with some paprika and garlic and just uh, saute them. I had them defrosting in the fridge all day but they're still a little bit um, icy so I'm going to saute them first and then pop that in the oven to give them a little bit of a head start. Got a whole head of cauliflower. I found a recipe I want to do with this. I made some cauliflower the other week and it was like buffalo themed. It was okay, but um, I want to try a different one, so I'll show you that. Uh, I've got this butternut squash. I found it on sale at Kroger. So I think that's just microwavable, but we'll see. And uh, also crescents in case, I'm not sure if Matt will, will care for that. Um, also crescents are amazing. So that's the spread for tonight. And I want to show you the cauliflower recipe. It's just this um, oven baked whole roasted cauliflower. So just put it in an oven or in a like Dutch oven and roast it with all this stuff on it. So anyway, I'm gonna try that. We'll show you how it goes. All right, that's what we've got going tonight. Oh, and I am drinking a LaCroix right now. And I had a um, little bit of turkey pepperoni as a snack. I was really hungry when I got home from work. So that is what I'm doing. Do you guys snack while you're cooking? I try not to, but sometimes you just need a little bit, um, especially when you know it will take like 45 minutes to get everything done. <laughs>
Okay guys, so here are the finished plates. We have the drumsticks, the cauliflower, and then I ended up not making crescent rolls. I just found these hamburger buns and put them under the broiler with some olive oil and garlic. Um, so not having a lot of green on the plate, I put on some cilantro that I had in the, free, in the fridge. Um, this, I just wanted to let you know, the Alexia mashed butternut squash. I warmed it up and I tried it and it just was not very good for me. I didn't care for it. Um, so I'm going to see if Matt wants any, but, um, I'm really not a picky eater and I just didn't think it had good flavor or really any flavor. So just going to skip on that tonight. I think I see why it was on sale. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight. And, uh, thanks for joining. I'll show you more recipes tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm starting dinner tonight. It is Friday night and using up some leftovers. So I'm going to make quesadillas. So I've got some steak here left over from our fajitas the other night and chicken from that big old chicken breast. I just pulled some off and shredded it. So that uh, needs to be flavored up and cut up. Um, Mexican style cheese. Got some toppings here, guacamoles. They're from the freezer, so they're still thawing. Uh, sour cream, salsa. Um, some green onions and cilantro chopped up. More cilantro if I need it. And then this is just big iceberg lettuce I can um, this is just a big iceberg lettuce. I can chop that up. Oh, and it would help if I also had the tortillas. So I'm going to use these up as well. So that's what I'm making. All right, and here are the finished plates. This whole meal came together in like 10 minutes, which was amazing because I already had that meat cooked. So I've just got the quesadillas. I have chicken and Matt has steak. And I just did a little salad here. There's a guac cup and some salsa. And I just have the same thing with a little sour cream. So that is what we're having for dinner. Happy Friday, you guys. Um, hope you had a good week. And thanks for watching. Have a good week. Bye.